So today is November 23rd. Some people might refer to that as Thanksgiving, but I refer to it as Baiju Day. I want to try to at least make him usable. So the first two and now three ascensions are taken care of. Because for once, I was a productive Genshin gamer and I actually farmed stuff. And if you look at this screen, you may notice that we're missing something. These, I hopefully can craft and, you know, transmute or whatever I got to do. These, I, I got to go find them. Then there is an issue for that because if you collect an item with a character, you get that nice little sound effect. The easier way for us to collect is this, but then you don't get that same sound effect. And I think it goes without saying the violet grass is one of the worst plants to have to collect. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to be flying to each and every one. I'm sorry. And there we have it, 135 violet grass. So the next question is, how many of these can we craft up? Seven. Okay, that is not enough for what we need. But it is enough to let us ascend him for the fourth time. After a bit of crafting though, we just need one more boss drop and then we can ascend him again. I really don't think we're going to be able to max ascend him here, but at least getting him to the fifth ascension is good enough for now. And I've already seen the future, by the way. I know that we are going to get three drops from this. Don't ask me how I know it, just accept that it is a fact. So, Baiju, here you go. Once again, you get ascended. Ooh, fun times. I'm running out of level up stuff, but that's okay, because at most today, anyways, I would only get him to 81. And actually, yeah, we, we have no chance of doing this today, because I can't farm up enough of these. I have no fragile resin. What about talents? How far... Can we get his burst and skill? Can we see a level five for both? Oh, I'm out of Mora? Huh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, we... Never mind. Out of all the things we were going to run out of, I did not think it was going to be Mora. This is now my third account to be completely broke. Oh, oh I, I can't use the shop here. That's fun. The sad thing is I did spend the past few days also farming up these so that we could get these talents leveled up. I did not think that Mora was going to be our bottleneck. I mean, we do have five condensed resin, but I really wanted to spend it in this domain. This place has the set that we want most on this account right now. And obviously, since it's a newer domain, it's not in the strong box. So everything else that we want, except for like G Gilded Dreams and Deepwood, which we also do want, we could just craft the rest in a strong box. I forget, do you also get more when you do this? If so, it's probably like 5,000. Um... 5,050. Now we're just hunting for anything for the Rizzler or Nouvellet or even Charlotte. And I know so many people are saying that the whichever one is the set for elemental skill damage in here is good on Yaimiko. And if you're going for a damage build on Yaimiko, then yes, that is very much true. But we're pretty much going for EM. So that set is not ideal for us. Show me the best artifacts you've ever given anyone in the entire game okay next time next time show them to me next time in terms of energy recharge this team is not so bad they seem to i shouldn't have clicked that but they seem to get their bursts up pretty often but damage i, I feel like it's lacking like compared to hyper bloom this feels a lot slower but i just thought it'd be kind of fun to try out a spread aggravate team instead of hyper bloom which we've been doing for pretty much since it came out. And the problem that I'm running into is if I want to do a Hyper Bloom, I like using Kokomi for the Hydro Application because she has our best off-field Hydro Application. But the issue with that is then I'd be putting her with Baiju now, and that's both of my healers, or at least both my better healers, on the same side of the Spiral Abyss. Now for just overworld exploration, that's completely fine. But in the Spiral Abyss, I kind of need to have Baiju and Kokomi on different sides. Wait, this is already our last condensed resin? Oh boy. That's not, that's not good. And neither are these artifacts. Currently, our Baiju is just on two-piece ocean hued, two-piece gilded. It's not that I wanted him on this. It's just the best stuff that I had with completing sets. Eventually, I would love to swap him over to either four-piece ocean hued, or I guess I could do deep wood, but Nahid is already on deep wood. Oh, here we go again. But for the time being, I just want to level up the artifacts so he has stats. Then we can worry about getting improvements. Oh, let's go flat attack. That's going to help us so much. <gasps> Even better. Flat defense. My Baiju is about to be cracked. 
we have enough Mora. We can level up both the burst and the elemental skill. Oh, never. Okay, not quite. Here we go. Skill and burst, both level six. Not really as high as I wanted it to be, but um, oh well. I feel like there's only one way for us to test out Baiju now. It is a very painful way, but let's see how this goes. Of course, floor nine shouldn't be an issue for us. The biggest struggle is just how short Klee's range is. But now let's see how this team fares. Because now with the power of Baiju, we should be able to do this without really getting interrupted quite as much. And that, of course, it's very nice. What's really sad is the first half is still taking about a minute and a half, even on floor nine. Now, a big part of that is because the enemies are so spread out and Klee's range, like I said, is uh, abysmal. And that's kind of putting it nicely. So hopefully, as the number of enemies goes down, our time will also go down with it. Oh, wait. Somehow I forgot that Charlotte also heals. Because before I was saying how we needed to have our healers on opposite sides. And then I, I just realized we have another good healer. All right, first first half is now taking two minutes. That is not good. Be Okay, see that? That's why we need Baizu's shield up, which he did not have ready. Because without it, we just get knocked out of our charge attack every two seconds. Come on, Klee. Come on, Klee. Big damage. You could do it. Okay, so that was faster. Both sides combined took under a minute. So far, floor 9 was harder for us than floor 10. Yeah, Sucrose would be good on this side, but I, um, <laughs> I regret to admit that our Sucrose is still not really built. But being that she's really our only swirling character because Hazo is more of a damage dealer, I probably should get her built up anyways. But to be fair, I should get every character on this account built up. Oh, uh, apparently that was floor 10 all done. Ooh, I forgot monolith. Is it a new monolith now? It probably is. I love the last rotation second half of the monolith, but I have a bad feeling it's going to be different. Hopefully not. It It is. Oh, it is. It seems like they still target me over the monolith though. So that's at least good to see. And then this guy, if I hit him, should... Oh, he already only targets me. Going to take a while, but I'm not going to use any of my bursts because because there's no reason to. Okay, I'm glad to see that at least that is still not bad. And now this, this is gonna be very fun. Good thing is we have Nephilet who just lost one of his burst things. I love getting hit out of that. These idiots need to learn how to group up a bit more. Oh, excuse me, stop that. Stop, I said stop that. I said stop. Okay, I'm resetting. I know a much better way to do this. We click, we do a bit of that. We run over here and then we wait just a, you know, just a little bit until they're grouped up together. Now, ideally, I'd like to get my burst up like this. And now I should have a shield that lasts for at least two seconds. And since they're grouped up, we can now hit both of them with all of our attacks, which should make this much quicker for us. Look at that. Look at how easy it is. It's so simple. Now, please don't let me mess up this side because I don't want to have to do that again. Sucrose would be good here, but I never feel like she pulls enemies together enough anyways. So would she really be good here? I don't know. No, though I can tell you just from this already, we are not three-starring this. Our damage output is terrible. Okay, 40 something seconds to take out this man. Can we do it? I'm gonna say no. Can you bring your pet alligator over here? I don't feel like chasing it around. It makes me so happy when I go to charge up a charge attack and my character just stands there doing nothing. Like it's such a good feeling. Oh, I thought we only got two stars, but I forgot that the time requirement was lower on that. It was only chamber two. Uh, of course, I knew that. I just wanted to make it seem like we had a lot less time than we actually did. Ooh, I love getting stunned out of my charged attacks. Okay, first half of that is actually pretty easy. Second half, I haven't even started, and I know it's not gonna be fun. It's funny, because with Charlotte, you could charge up her elemental skill, and then, you know, more damage and whatnot, but I'm not doing that, because do you see how much I'm just getting bounced around by these guys? <laughs> There's no way they're gonna give me the time to actually get that off, unless... Oh, never mind. I got it because I am such a gamer. One of the gamers of all time, if I say so myself. Ooh. Floor 11 completely done. I guess I should take a look to see if I can build Sucrose. What do we got for Viridescent? Oh, well, I guess you get that. You get nothing there. And that is the best that I can get her for right now since I have no resin. And I, I could level her up a little bit, but I'm just going to run out of more. So I don't know if I can do that. Oh. Wait, wait, I am, uh, 
I'm gonna do that. Gonna be completely out of level of materials, but that's fine. That's a problem for future me. Before you ask, no, I don't see these teams working, especially because floor 12 is harder than it was last rotation. And if we couldn't clear it then, what chance do we have of clearing it now? I think I'm already going to have to change the teams. I was really hoping to fill it could just carry us even without reactions, but my build is not good enough for that. Oh yeah, there's no shot. Okay, so that team, no, not gonna work. I mean, to be honest, I don't think we have a shot of clearing this. Let's see if this team, I mean, this team should be faster. And if it isn't, we just go cry. Yeah, I think we just need to go cry because this is like our strongest team comp right now. And we're already at 7 minutes 30 seconds. And this is so annoying to do with Klee. I'm just curious how bad this is going to be. Like, how far down do we actually need to run that timer before we can beat this? Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness, so many stars. I am giving it another shot. I can already tell we ain't getting three stars. But basically, I just wanted to see if this second half would be any faster or not. Okay. Um, how how we doing? Are we faster? Are we going any faster? I mean, it's, it is faster, but it's still pretty slow. Let's go one star. Guys, it's getting worse. We're still on the first half of chamber two and we're below seven. Seven minutes. Emerge. Right here. Emerge. Seems like an emergency. Uh, I get it, Baizu, because she kept saying emerge. On the bright side, this dude literally doesn't get to do anything. On the non ish bright side, our damage is still not that great. Wait, where are you going? Get back into the burst. Thank you. Let's go one star again. We are cracked. Oh, there's another two of these on this chamber. Oh, that's so fun. I'm sure I definitely won't die here because these two do like no damage, right? Oh, I was kind of, I was like half joking. I didn't think Naida was just going to get deleted though. Oh, Baizu has even less range than Klee. And there goes Lisa. Uh-oh, no stamina to dodge. We did it. We technically three-starred floor 12. Now, whether those three stars were across all the chambers or just every chamber was three stars, it's irrelevant. Look, if we go into our profile, we completed 12-3 in the Spiral Abyss and we got the achievement for doing so, which means like... We, we 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 finished right I, we, we definitely definitely beat the goal of the account yeah i know at the beginning of this i said it was baiju day but i'm gonna make a quick addendum to that because it is now baiju days plural i figured we could go ahead and give him an extra day to try and get something we're definitely not maxing him today either but i figured we can do a little more farming and the only reason that i'm using this specific team because it's kind of a weird team comp it's like a freeze bloom is because you can't use pyro or electro against the fungi or you get the wrong drop oh uh, you know what i was gonna spend some of our resin today on the moral ley lines which I, I might still do but i should probably go fight a pep considering we can only do that once per week it would probably be a good idea also i, I don't know why probably be is such a tongue twister for me like i just prob prob probably prob probably prob Pro I can't do it. You know, I would love to do a live stream on this account where we just go through and try and build up as many characters as possible in, in terms of like artifacts and stuff. But um, I can't do that because resin. I have one fragile resin and I don't think that one fragile resin is going to be enough to farm artifacts for everyone on the account. But like I mentioned earlier, let's go ahead and fight the Apep. And there we go. We're going to see 54 drop three i'll take three then we will also grab one and two ley lines and i suppose i'll dump it into his burst because i really want that shield to shield us then actually we can do a little bit of crafting and thanks to that crafting we can also level up the skill <laughs> and uh we can almost level up the burst again uh, you know what i have two condensed resin we are just gonna go put it into the ley lines as well bada Bing, bada, boom. Oh no, it's still not going to be enough. We can do the burst, but then if we want to do the skill, we're still too poor. Don't you worry though, because I do indeed have a way to make a little bit more Mora. We just kill Pyro Regisvine, then we teleport over to Mondstadt, make ourselves 
20 stakes and hopefully this is gonna be enough it's 32,000. i think it's enough we're gonna be very poor again but there we go you know what i am actually pretty happy leaving the talents at eight and eight now we just need to turn our attention to the artifact situation which pretty much goes for every single character that we have since we are at a resin though i don't need to make this longer than it needs to be so with that being said i will see you all next time